Hello, just a quick tutorial on my workflow for sweetening audio. To really sweeten audio, it is a bit more of an art, and you know you have to play around with a lot of settings. Not every setting will be applicable in every situation. What I'm going to attempt to show you now is a generic no brains sort of approach to making your audio sounds better. So what we have is we have the original feed from my microphone here. I've created a duplicate here that we'll, we can use as a reference later on and just a third, a third track that will become apparent later on. Okay, so the first thing we want to do with a audio uh, track is to basically remove some of the noise from it. Okay, so this, this track has deliberately got about 10 seconds at the end where there's just silence. So we, we highlight that and we're going to use that as the reference for our noise reduction. So we need to get a no noise profile and that's why we highlighted what we know is silence or as close as we can find silence. So we click get noise profile then you can either click sort of around there or control A to select everything. And we're going to do the second part of the noise reduction, which is where we click OK. And so that chugs away and removes all the noise. The next thing we want to do is add a compressor to it. So these are my settings, minus 20, minus 40, uh, ratio of 2 to 1, 0.2 seconds. One second. Okay, so we click OK. And then let's try and make our voice sound a little better. So we're going to add some equalization and let's add a little bit of bass. So we've got the bass boost there. And we do that and let's add a bit of treble. So what, what the equalization is doing is, is just extending the range of our voice. So it sounds less, so, so it's just got a better better range, a more dynamic range. Okay, so now the final thing, <coughs> pardon me, we want to do is we want to, where are we, no, uh, normalize. So this is my setting here, I, I quite like negative 3.2 decibel for audio uh, vocal sound type things so let's click OK there and here we have our result now what we're going to do is we're going to try and mimic what we've just done but by by simply just cranking up the amplification so we're going to be on the second track we're going to amplify and let's just amplify there oh we weren't on the second track were we so i'm just going to control z to exit out of that uh so sorry ignore that last bit and let's unmute that maybe okay so let's do the same thing again so let's amplify and oh what's going on here sorry i'm on the wrong track again so, sorry, let's highlight that track. Ah, now I think we know, I know what we're doing. So, let's amplify. Okay, so so what we've done is we've, we're trying to match the amplification in both the top track and the second track, which started off life as the same. But let's, uh, let's have a listen to the difference. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that that part and I'm just going to paste it there and I'm going to copy pretty much the same the same bit and we're going to paste it there and we might just do this a couple of times so we can see what what our results are so I'm just I'm just control C and control V. Oh, it looks like it adds spaces there anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the uh, slide tool or whatever it's called, just to butt these up against one another. Okay, let's mute these sources. So what we've got is we've got 
Let's get the I bar back. So what we've got is we've got the uh, edited one, the sweetened one, and we've got just the amplified one. The sweetened one, the amplified, the sweetened, the amplified. So, so let's let's click play and see if there's a difference. As a test sample, 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 as a test sample. Okay, so I think it's quite clear that audio sweetening does make a considerable difference to the, first of all, it eliminates the background noise. And second of all, it, it adds a fuller dynamic to the voice. It, it just makes it sound a bit more punchy, a bit more interesting. We could go one step. We could go further. One step further, we could uh, add a little bit of reverb or a bit of echo, just to make it sound a little bit better. That I find is does take a bit of bit of tweaking and a bit of playing around with. So we'll, we'll leave it at that. I hope this has piqued your interest, and I hope you can apply this to your next audio project okay i look forward to seeing you guys soon bye bye